So I like to tell people that we can build the entire company and get to break even Got it. for less money than Uber races and around. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's still a lot of money, but it's not right. an obtainable amount of money. And so you, you, know, you, you, you approach it like a startup and mm-hmm. you do it sequentially. Like the, we're flying next year with a subscale prototype, which will go Mach 2.2. It'll set speed records. Uh, But it's much less expensive to build versus the full-scale, certified-to-take-passengers, proven-safe airplane. So you're actually making one for next summer. Oh, end of next year is when it will fly. End of next year. So in uh, 19, 20 months from the taping of this, you will have a smaller version of the boom? Correct. Uh, How many people will be able to be in it? Two? Four? Two, actually, yeah. So it's it's a one-third scale by length, so it's one-ninth by volume, and that's enough room for a pilot and a passenger. And... You'll be able to go over Mach 2 with it. Yes. 1,400 miles per hour. Yes. And if you prove that, then you can start taking orders, or you've already started We've taking already orders? We've already started taking orders, actually. Th- this, right. this surprised me that it was possible this early. Okay. We have 25 airplanes on LOI. Okay. Uh, letter of intent. Letter of intent, correct. Okay. So not, not, not binding yet. Not binding. But, but, but it's- Does it, it include a deposit? Uh, it will. It will. Not yet, but it will. So like the Tesla, to reserve mm-hmm. your spot in line, you're going to have to put something down. I'm Correct. assuming a slightly more than the $1,000 that Elon's charging for the Tesla Model 3 will be <laughs> the deposit for a boom. If not, I'm going to yes. put down a deposit for t- the first 25 planes. Right. right. What will the deposit be? And what will the cost of the plane be? Ballpark. Hundreds so, so, of millions? Uh, the, the, the price of the plane is $200 million. Okay. $200 million. And uh, deposits, we'll see. What did the Concorde program cost? And they they built twenty five planes or something. They built twenty planes. And twenty so, planes. I mean, it, it, they spent ten billion. It's, it's remarkable the thing ever flew. Right. So it was a joint venture between the French and British governments. Right. So this screams efficiency, right? They yeah. couldn't, for example, uh, the technical documentation was in French and in English. They well, couldn't decide where to, how many factories to build, so they put one in France and one in Britain. Yeah, yeah, so they were was, fighting. I think I saw a special on this where they were fighting over who got to build which pieces. Yes, which as an on an engineering basis, when the unions were mm-hmm. fighting over who got the jobs to do different pieces, that was a little bit weird, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, so that you can do things way more efficiently, and uh, Elon has really shown the path to this with SpaceX of what happens when you're scrappy. You hire a smaller number of really phenomenal people. You put them all in one room. You keep them around the hardware. You can execute way faster for way less money. Hmm. So you're going to start building this prototype, or have you started building the prototype? Uh, we're in sort of test, ma- test part manufacturing today. So if you walked into our hangar, you'd find mock-ups of the airplane. Hmm. Uh, you'd find the engine. You'd right. find pieces of the wing. Well, who makes the engine? And is it a normal engine, or like is it a Rolls-Royce engine or a Boeing engine? Yes. Yeah. Like- so, so the prototype airplane flies with an off-the-shelf General Electric engine, okay. uh, which NASA has flown to Mach 2.5. We're going to take it to Mach 2.2. So uh, the standard General Electric engine that's out there, or one of the powerful ones that does mm-hmm. what, like an A320 or something, or mm-hmm. what is that engine used for? So the, the, the engine that's in the prototype is smaller. Ah. Uh, so it, it flew on some early Learjets, ah. uh, for example. And for the production aircraft, the one that's going to carry 40 people, it's an adaptation of a current commercial engine. Ah. So the engines exist. That's mm-hmm. not the big deal. Yes. Actually, that's a huge deal that they exist. Yeah. If the engines didn't exist, this whole company wouldn't be possible. Ah. So has the engine technology changed? The engine technology has changed phenomenally, hasn't it, over yes. the last twenty years? Yes, it had this changed tremendously. Concorde flew in afterburners, and if you don't know what an afterburner is, I don't. It's fine. It's, it's like taking raw fuel, uh-huh. literally, and dumping it in the exhaust of the airplane. So when you turn on the afterburner, you're spending fifty percent more gas for like twenty percent more thrust. It's awful, uh, terrible way to get thrust. Hey, you can do better. There's just better technology. Hey everybody, let me take a moment to thank my friends at Squarespace. They make gorgeous websites in minutes and it is so affordable. You know, I do these crazy ideas where I'm just like, I say to my team, hey, I want to do something where I just like invite a bunch of angel investors to come away for the weekend and we'll we'll shoot clay pigeons and we'll go on hikes, we'll play poker and we'll talk about being angel investors. So I say, yeah, go get the domain name Launch Angel Summit and I just say that in a chat room somewhere. And literally, before I write the copy for the website, My team emails me back what you see on my screen right here, which is this gorgeous, they said, well, we assume you want to do it up in nature because you said, hey, maybe in Napa or maybe in Sonoma. They find some stock images of gorgeous photos. They put it in the background and we say, launch Angel Summit, 50 angel investors, two days of discussions, debate, learning, hiking, and late night poker, Northern California, request an invitation. We get that up in seconds and it looks like something that was made by one of these agencies 
you know, that you spend tens of thousands of dollars and they have tons of templates. And now when I launch five or six different pages on here, including selling tickets or selling t-shirts, they have e-commerce, um, it's intuitive and easy to use. There's no coding required. And I said to my team, you know, listen, we need to have these professionally state of the art websites, but I want anybody on the team to be able to update the site because this is one of my pet peeves. If I need something changed on the website, we constantly come up with some innovation inside of our company and then the public doesn't know about it which what I tell my teams and I tell my startups I invest in is, if you don't take credit for what you're doing, then nobody knows you have to take credit. It has to exist on the web so that you can tweet it, so that you can Facebook it, so you can share it, so people can read it. And it has to look beautiful and gorgeous. So everybody in my organization now knows how to use Squarespace. We just did a little primer. It took 15 minutes. We put all eight people around a computer and said, here's how it works. Here's how to add pages. Here's how to use a template. No credit card is required if you want to start a free trial right now. And I'm begging you, go to squarespace.com and do it because it will change your life forever. You can get a free domain if you sign up for a year, which is ridiculous. And when you do decide to sign up for Squarespace and put in your credit card, which you don't have to do in the beginning, you can just use the offer code TWIST and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. It is state-of-the-art, secure, stable, and trusted by millions. It's some of the most respected brands in the world, including my own, uh, use the product. That's all you need to know. It gets my highest, highest, highest uh, endorsement. We use it for the Launch Incubator site. We use it for the Launch Festival. We use it for Launch Hackathon. We use it for the Launch Angel Summit. We use it for everything, and we love it. It's so easy to use, and it's so gorgeous. Thank you at Squarespace. Squarespace.